Today, HC Designo is going to teach you on how to create textures for the purpose of rendering. We will be teaching you how to create a marble texture, granite texture, wooden flooring texture, tiles and stone texture. For the marble, use a 4B or a 6B pencil. Start making a line from the corner of the box. Concentrate on the way I am moving the pencil while making a free hand line. Try and keep on rotating the pencil with your fingers while you make the line. Do some stripling around that. Then start shading from dark to light around the lines that you have made just the way I am doing. Use your fingers and smudge the shading a bit so that pencil strokes are not seen. Next, we will be showing you about the granite texture. Start stripling from the corner. Then make two diagonal lines to leave a gap. As you reach the diagonal lines, make sure that the intensity of the stripling reduces. Then erase the lines so that only one gap is seen. Now start shading from dark to light and smudge it a little. Again make two diagonal lines cutting the gap you've left. To show it a polished surface, then make a few triangles. You do the same for the other corners. We will now be talking about the wooden flooring texture. Divide the space into equal parts. Use a brown color pen and make vertical lines, then draw alternate horizontal lines. Again make horizontal lines in the gaps that you had left before but at different heights to make it look like planks. Now with the brown color pencil use a scale and start making strokes from dark to light vertically. Also shade the horizontal lines in the same manner. Then again use the brown color pen to make broken oval shapes and lines to give the texture. We will now be talking about tiles. Divide the space into equal parts. Use a matchstick or any object like a matchstick but not very sharp otherwise it will damage your paper. Draw invisible lines with the matchstick just to give depth to the paper. Shade it using an ochre color pencil. You will automatically see that there is a space between the two tiles which looks like a joint. Now just give a little edging to each square that is formed and shade a few of the squares. Your tile texture is ready. We will lastly be talking about how to create the stone texture. Take a pencil making random uneven sized shapes leaving minimal gap between them. Shade the gaps a little to give a realistic effect. Do not forget to stripple at a few places. Give an outline to a few shapes using the ochre color pencil. Now shade using an alternate of the pencil and the ochre color. Add a few stripling and shade wherever required. Your stone texture is now complete. 